Hartebeest. The Hartebeest, Alcelaphus bucelaphus, also known as Congoni, is an African antelope. Eight subspecies have been described, including two sometimes considered to be independent species. A large antelope, the Hartebeest stands just over 1 m3, 3 ft at the shoulder, and has a typical head and body length of 200 to 250 cm 79 to 98 in. The weight ranges from 100 to 200 kg 220 to 440 lb. It has a particularly elongated forehead and oddly shaped horns, short neck, and pointed ears. Its legs, which often have black markings, are unusually long. The coat is generally short and shiny. Coat color varies by the subspecies, from the sandy brown of the western hartebeest to the chocolate brown of the swain's hartebeest. Both sexes of all subspecies have horns, with those of females being more slender. Horns can reach lengths of 4570 cm 1828 in. Apart from its long face, the large chest and the sharply sloping back differentiate the hartebeest from other antelopes. Gregarious animals, hartebeest form herds of 20 to 300 individuals. They are very alert and non-aggressive. They are primarily grazers with their diets consisting mainly of grasses. Mating in hartebeest takes place throughout the year with one or two peaks and depends upon the subspecies and local factors. Both males and females reach sexual maturity at one to two years of age. Gestation is eight to nine months long, after which a single calf is born. Births usually peak in the dry season. The lifespan is 12 to 15 years. Inhabiting dry savannas and wooded grasslands, hartebeest often move to more arid places after rainfall. They have been reported from altitudes on Mount Kenya up to 4,000 and 13,000 ft. The hartebeest was formerly widespread in Africa, but populations have undergone drastic decline due to habitat destruction, hunting, human settlement, and competition with livestock for food. Each of the eight subspecies of the hartebeest has a different conservation status. Bubal hartebeest was declared extinct by the International Union for Conservation of Nature Eakin in 1994. While the populations of the red hartebeest are on the rise, those of the Tora hartebeest, already critically endangered, are falling. The hartebeest is extinct in Algeria, Egypt, Lesotho, Libya, Morocco, Somalia, and Tunisia, but has been introduced into Swaziland and Zimbabwe. It is a popular game animal due to its highly regarded meat. Etymology The vernacular name hartebeest may have originated from the obsolete Dutch word hertebeest, literally deer beast, based on the resemblance to early Dutch settlers of the antelope to deer. First use of the word hartebeest in South African literature was in Dutch colonial administrator Jan van Riebeek's journal Dagregister in 1660. He wrote Meester Pieter ein hartebeest, Jeskuten had Master Pieter van Meerhof had shot one hartebeest. Another name for the hartebeest is Congoni, a Swahili word. Congoni is often used to refer in particular to one of its subspecies, Cox hartebeest. The scientific name Alcelaphus bucelaphus consists of the genus Alcelaphus, from Greek alk alk, moose, and elaphos elaphos, deer, and the species bucelaphus, from booze booze, cow, and elaphos. Taxonomy. The scientific name of the hartebeest is Alcelaphus bucelaphus. First described by German zoologist Peter Simon Pallas in 1766, it is classified in the genus Alcelaphus and placed in the family Bovidae. In 1979, paleontologist Elizabeth VRBA supported Sigmaceros as a separate genus for Lichtenstein's hartebeest, a kind of hartebeest, as she assumed it was related to Kanakit's wildebeest. She had analyzed the skull characters of living and extinct species of antelope to make a cladogram, 
and argued that a wide skull linked Liechtenstein's hartebeest with Kanakis. However, this finding was not replicated by Alan W. Gentry of the Natural History Museum, who classified it as an independent species of Alcelaphus. Zoologists such as Jonathan Kingdon and Theodore Haltenorth considered it to be a subspecies of Abusalaphus. The RBA dissolved the new genus in 1997 after reconsideration. An mtDNA analysis could find no evidence to support a separate genus for Liechtenstein's hartebeest. It also showed the tribe Alcelophini to be monophyletic and discovered close affinity between the Alcelaphus and the Sassabis genus Damaliscus both genetically and morphologically. Subspecies Eight subspecies are identified, of which two AB, and AB Lichtensteinii have been considered to be independent species. However, a 1999 genetic study by P. Arctander of the University of Copenhagen and colleagues, which sampled the control region of the mitochondrial DNA, found that these two formed a clade within A. Bucelaphus, and that recognizing these as species would render A. Bucelaphus paraphyletic and unnatural grouping. The same study found A. B. major to be the most divergent, having branched off before the lineage split to give a combined comma slash Lichtensteinii lineage and another that gave rise to the remaining extant subspecies. Conversely, a 2001 phylogenetic study based on D. Luke and Cytochrome B. analysis by Oystein Flagstad of the Norwegian Institute for Nature Research, Trondheim and colleagues, found that the southern lineage of a B, and A, Lichtensteinii diverged earliest. Analysis of skull structure supports partition into three major divisions, A, B, Bucelaphus division nominate, also including A, B major division, A, B Torah division also including A, B Kokii and A, B Swainae and A, B Lelwal division. Another analysis of cytochrome B, and D loop sequence data shows a notable affinity between the AB Lelwal and AB Tora divisions. The eight subspecies, including the two controversial ones, are plus AB Bucelaphus pallas, 1766, known as the Bubal hartebeest or northern hartebeest, formerly occurred across northern Africa, from Morocco to Egypt. It was exterminated by the 1920s. It was declared extinct in 1994 by the International Union for the Conservation of Nature and Natural Resources, Yakim. A. B. Kama St. Hilaire, 1803, known as the Red Hartebeast or Cape Hartebeast, formerly occurred in southern Angola, northern and eastern savannas of Namibia, central, southern and southwestern Botswana, northern Cape, eastern Cape. Western Cape, Free State, Northwest and Gauteng Provinces, and Western KwaZulu Natal of South Africa. Presently has been eliminated from all these areas except Northern Cape, Central and Southwestern Botswana, and Namibia. Major reintroductions have taken place in these countries. The population of this hartebeest is on the rise. A. B. Kokii Gunther, 1884 known as Koch's hartebeest or Kongoni, native to and confined within Kenya and northern Tanzania. A. B. Lelwal Huglin, 1877, known as the Lelwal hartebeest, formerly found in northern and northeastern Democratic Republic of the Congo, southeastern and southwestern Sudan, and the northwestern extreme of Tanzania. Drastic population decreased since the 1980s has confined most individuals to protected areas inside and outside its range. A. B. Lichtensteinii Peters, 1849, known as Lichtenstein's hartebeest, inhabits the Miombo woodlands of eastern and southern Africa. It is native to Angola, the Democratic Republic of Congo, Malawi, Mozambique, South Africa, Tanzania, Zambia, and Zimbabwe. A. 
B. Major Blyth, 1869, known as the Western Hartebeest, formerly occurred widely in Mali, Niger, Senegal, Gambia, Guinea-Bissau, Guinea-Ivory Coast, Ghana, Nigeria, Southwestern Chad, Cameroon, Western Central African Republic, and Benin. Nowadays it occurs in much lower numbers mainly in protected areas of these countries. It is probably extinct in Gambia. A. The Swaney Sclater, 1892, known as Swain's Hartebeest, restricted to the southern Rift Valley in Ethiopia. It formerly occurred throughout the Rift Valley, and its range extended eastward into northwestern Somalia. It has disappeared from Somalia by 1930. Its populations are very low and on the decline. A. The Tora Gray, 1873, known as the Tora Hartebeest, formerly occurred in northwestern Ethiopia and western and southwestern Eritrea. Its present status is unclear, though locals have reported small numbers from these areas. Genetics and Hybrids In 2000, a study scrutinized two major populations of the Swain's Heart of Beast, from the Senkel Wildlife Sanctuary and the Nechisar National Park, or mitochondrial D-loop, and nuclear microsatellite variability in an attempt to estimate the levels of genetic variation between the populations and within the subspecies. The results showed a remarkable differentiation between the two populations that from the Senkel Wildlife Sanctuary showed more genetic diversity than the one from the Nechisar National Park. Another revelation was that the translocation of the individuals from the Senkel Wildlife Sanctuary in 1974 had not made a significant contribution to the gene pool of the Nechisar National Park. Additionally, the Swain Hartebeest populations were compared with a large Red Hartebeest population, and both subspecies were found to have a high degree of genetic variation. The study advocated in situ conservation of the Swain's Hartebeest and a renewed attempt at its translocation in order to conserve genetic diversity and increase its population in both the protected areas. The deployed number of chromosomes in the Hartebeest is 40. Hybrids are usually reported from areas where ranges of two subspecies overlap. Hybrids between the Lelwal and Tora Hartebeest have been reported in eastern Sudan and western Ethiopia, in a stretch southward from the Blue Nile to about Nindeg in latitude. A study proved a male hybrid of the red hartebeest and the Blesbach damaliscus pygarvis to be sterile. Sterility of the hybrid was attributed to difficulties in segregation during meiosis, indicated by azoospermia and a low number of germ cells in its seminiferous tubules. There are three well-defined hybrids between the subspecies. Alcelaphus lelwal ex cochiae, known as the Kenya Highland hartebeest, or the Lakeipia hartebeest. It is a cross between the lelwal and Cox hartebeest. This hybrid is lighter in color and larger than Cox hartebeest. It is a light buff with reddish tawny upper parts, and the head is longer than in Cox hartebeest. Both sexes have horns, which are heavier as well as longer than those of the parents. It was formerly distributed throughout the western Kenyan highlands, between Lake Victoria and Mount Kenya, but is now believed to be restricted to the Lambui Valley southwest Kenya and Lake Ipia and nearby regions of west-central Kenya. The Jackson's Hartebeest does not have a clear taxonomic status. Like the form above, it is regarded as a hybrid between the Lelwal and Cox hartebeest, and has a similar distribution. The African Antelope Database 1998 treats it as synonymous to the Lelwal hartebeest. From Lake Baringo to Mount Kenya, the Jackson's hartebeest significantly resembles the Lelwal hartebeest, whereas from Lake Victoria to the southern part of the Rift Valley it tends to be more like the Cox hartebeest. Alcelaphus lelwal ex Swainae, also known as the Newman's Hartebeest, named after traveler and hunter Arthur Henry Newman, 
This is considered to be a cross between the Lelwell hartebeest and Swain's hartebeest. The face is longer than that of the Swain's hartebeest. The color of the coat is of golden brown, paler towards the underparts. The chin has a hint of black, and the tail ends in a black tuft. Both sexes have longer horns than the Swain's hartebeest. The horns grow in a wide V-shape, unlike the wide bracket shape of Swain's hartebeest and the narrow V of Lelwell hartebeest, curving backward and slightly inward. It occurs in Ethiopia, in a small area to the east of Omo River and north of Lake Turkana, stretching northeast of Lake Chubahir to near Lake Chamo. Evolution The genus Alsalaphus emerged about four. Four million years ago in a clade whose other members were Damelops, Numida capra, Rabatisaurus megalotragus, Orianager, and Kanakis. An analysis using phylogeographic patterns within hartebeest populations suggested a possible origin of Alsalaphus in eastern Africa. Alsalaphus quickly radiated across the African savannas, replacing several previous forms such as a relative of the Hirola. Flagstead and colleagues showed an early split in the hartebeest populations into two distinct lineages around zero. Five million years ago, one to the north and the other to the south of the equator. The northern lineage further diverged into eastern and western lineages nearly zero. Four million years ago, most probably as a result of the expanding Central African rainforest belt, subsequent contraction, of savanna habitats during a period of global warming. The eastern lineage gave rise to the Cokes, Swains, Tora, and Lelwell hartebeest, and from the western lineage evolved the Bubel and western hartebeest. The southern lineage gave rise to Lichtensteins and red hartebeest. These two taxa are phylogenetically close, having diverged only zero. Two million years ago, the study concluded that these major events throughout the hartebeest's evolution are strongly related to climatic factors and that there had been successive bursts of radiation from a more permanent population or refugium in eastern Africa. This could be vital to understanding the evolutionary history of not only the hartebeest but also other mammals of the African savanna. The earliest fossil record dates back to nearly zero. Seven million years ago, ago, fossils of the red hartebeest have been found in Alansfontein, Cornelia Free State, and Florisbad in South Africa, as well as in Kabwe in Zambia. In Israel, hartebeest remains have been found in northern Negev, Shefela, Sharon Plain, and Tel Lakish. This population of the hartebeest was originally limited to the open country of the southernmost regions of the southern Levant. It was probably hunted in Egypt, which affected the numbers in the Levant, and disconnected it from its main population in Africa. Description A large antelope with a particularly elongated forehead and oddly shaped horns, the heart of beast stands just over 1 m3. 3 ft at the shoulder, and has a typical head and body length of 200 to 250 cm 79 to 98 in. The weight ranges from 100 to 200 kg 220 to 440 lb. The tail 40 to 60 cm 16 to 24 in long ends in a black tuft. The other distinctive features of the heart of beast are its long legs often with black markings, short neck, and pointed ears. A study correlated the size of hartebeest species to habitat productivity and rainfall. The western hartebeest is the largest subspecies and has a characteristic white line between the eyes. The red hartebeest is also large, with a black forehead and a contrasting light band between the eyes. The large Lelwell hartebeest has dark stripes on the front of its legs. Koch's hartebeest is moderately large, with a shorter forehead and longer tail in comparison to the other subspecies. Lichtenstein's hartebeest is smaller, with dark stripes on the front of the legs, as in the Lelwell hartebeest. 
The swain's hartebeest is smaller than the Torah hartebeest, but both have a shorter forehead and similar appearance. Generally short and shiny, the coat varies in color according to subspecies. The western hartebeest is a pale sandy brown, but the front of the legs are darker. The red hartebeest is a reddish brown with a dark face. Black markings can be observed on the chin, the back of the neck, shoulders, hips and legs. These are in sharp contrast with the broad white patches that mark its flanks and lower rump. The Lelwell hartebeest is a reddish tan. Coke's hartebeest is reddish to tawny in the upper parts, but has relatively lighter legs and rump. Lichtenstein's hartebeest is reddish brown, though the flanks are a lighter tan and the rump whitish. The Torah hartebeest is a dark reddish brown in the upper part of the body, the face, the forelegs, and the rump, but the hind legs and the underbelly are a yellowish white. The Swain's hartebeest is a rich chocolate brown with fine spots of white that are actually the white tips of its hairs. Its face is black save for the chocolate band below the eyes. The shoulders and upper part of the legs are black. Fine textured, the body hair of the hartebeest is about 25 mm1 in long. The hartebeest has preorbital glands glands near the eyes with a central duct that secrete a dark sticky fluid in Koch's and Lichtenstein's hartebeest and a colorless fluid in the Lelwell hartebeest. Both sexes of all subspecies have horns, with those of females being more slender. Horns can reach lengths of 45-70 cm 18-28 in, the maximum horn length is 74-9 cm 29-5 in, recorded from a Namibian red hartebeest. The horns of the western hartebeest are thick and appear U-shaped from the front and Z-shaped from the sides, growing backward at first and then forward, ending with a sharp backward turn. The horns of the red and the Lelwell hartebeest are similar to those of the western hartebeest, but appear V-shaped when viewed from the front. The Lichtenstein's hartebeest has thick parallel ringed horns with a flat base. Its horns are shorter than those of other subspecies, curving upward then sharply forward, followed by an inward turn at an angle of about 45 deg and a final backward turn. The horns of Swain's hartebeest are thin and shaped like parentheses, curving upward and then backward. The horns of the Torah hartebeest are particularly thin and spread out sideways, diverging more than in any other subspecies. Apart from its long face, the large chest and the sharply sloping back differentiate the hartebeest from other antelopes. The hartebeest shares several physical traits with the Sassabes genus Damaliscus, such as an elongated and narrow face, the shape of the horns, the pelage texture and color, and the terminal tuft of the tail. The wildebeest have more specialized skull and horn features than the hartebeest. The hartebeest exhibits sexual dimorphism, but only slightly, as both sexes bear horns and have similar body masses. The degree of sexual dimorphism varies by subspecies. Males are 8% heavier than females in Swain's and Lichtenstein's hartebeest, and 23% heavier in the red hartebeest. In one study, the highest dimorphism was found in skull weight. Another study concluded that the length of the breeding season is a good predictor of dimorphism in pedicle the bony structures from which the horns grow height and skull weight, and the best predictor of the horn circumference. Ecology and Behavior Active mainly during daytime, the hartebeest grazes in the early morning and late afternoon, and rests in shade around noon. Gregarious, the species forms herds of up to 300 individuals. Larger numbers gather in places with abundant grass. In 1963, a congregation of 10,000 animals was recorded on the plains near Sekoma Pan in Botswana. However, moving herds are not so cohesive and tend to disperse frequently. The members of a herd can be divided into four groups, territorial adult males, 
non-territorial adult males, young males, and the females with their young. The females form groups of five to twelve animals, with four generations of young in the group. Females fight for dominance over the herd. Sparring between males and females is common. At three or four years of age, the males can attempt to take over a territory and its female members. A resident male defends his territory and will fight if provoked. The male marks the border of his territory through defecation. Hartebeasts are remarkably alert and cautious animals with highly developed brains. Generally calm in nature, Hartebeast can be ferocious when provoked. While feeding, one individual stays on the lookout for danger, often standing on a termite mound to see farther. At times of danger, the whole herd flees in a single file after an individual suddenly starts off. Adult hartebeest are preyed upon by lions, leopards, hyenas and wild dogs, cheetahs and jackals target juveniles. Crocodiles may also prey on hartebeest. The thin long legs of the hartebeest provide for a quick escape in an open habitat. If attacked, the formidable horns are used to ward off the predator. The elevated position of the eyes enables the hartebeest to inspect its surroundings continuously even as it is grazing. The muzzle has evolved so as to derive maximum nutrition from even a frugal diet. The horns are also used during fights among males for dominance in the breeding season. The clash of the horns is loud enough that it can be heard from hundreds of meters away. The beginning of a fight is marked with a series of head movements and stances, as well as depositing droppings on dung piles. The opponents drop onto their knees, and after giving a hammer-like blow, begin wrestling, their horns interlocking. One attempts to fling the head of the other to one side to stab the neck and shoulders with his horns. Fights are rarely serious, but can be fatal if they are. Like the Sassavis, Heart and beast produce quiet quacking and grunting sounds. Juveniles tend to be more vocal than adults and produce a quacking call when alarmed or pursued. The heart of beast uses defecation as an olfactory and visual display. Herds are generally sedentary and tend to migrate only under adverse conditions such as natural calamities. The hartebeest is the least migratory in the tribe Alcilophini, which also includes wildebeest and sassemis, and also consumes the least amount of water, and has the lowest metabolic rate among the members of the tribe. Parasites and Diseases Several parasites have been isolated from the hartebeest. These parasites regularly alternate between hartebeest and gazelles or wildebeest. Heart of beast can be infected with thaleriosis due to Rapisphalus evertsi and thaleria species. South of the Sahara, common parasites include Loweostris variolosis, Genolstra cristata, and G. hasleri. The latter two species can cause serious diseases such as encephalitis. However, parasites are not always harmful. 252 larvae were found in the head of one Zambian individual without any pathogenicity. Nematodes, cestodes, paramphistomes, and the roundworm Ceteria labiata papillosa have also been isolated from the hartebeest. In 1931, a red hartebeest in Gobabist, southwestern Africa, was infected with long, thin worms. These were named Longestrongolus mayeri after their collector, T. Mayer. Diet. Hartebeest are primarily grazers, and their diets consist mostly of grasses. A study in the Nezinga Game Ranch in Burkina Faso found that the hartebeest's skull structure eased the acquisition and chewing of highly fibrous foods. The hartebeest has much lower food intake than the other members of Alcilophini. The long, thin muzzle of the hartebeest assists in feeding on leaf blades of short grasses and nibbling off leaf sheaths from grass stems. In addition to this, it can derive nutritious food even from tall, senile grasses. These adaptations of the hartebeest enable the animal to feed well even in the dry season, 
which is usually a difficult period for grazers. For instance, in comparison with the roan antelope, the hard beast is better at procuring and chewing the scarce regrowth of perennial grasses at times when forage is least available. These unique abilities could have allowed the hard beast to prevail over other animals millions of years ago, leading to its successful radiation in Africa. Grasses generally comprise at least 80% of the hard beast's diet, but they account for over 95% of their food in the wet season, October to May. Jasminum kirstingii is part of the hard beast's diet at the start of the rainy season. Between seasons, they mainly feed on the culms of grasses. A study found that the hard beast is able to digest a higher proportion of food than the topi and the wild beast. In areas with scarce water, it can survive on melons, roots, and tubers. In a study of grass selectivity among the wildebeest, zebra, and the coax hartebeest, the hartebeest showed the highest selectivity. All animals preferred Thymeta triandra over Penistum mesianum and Digitarium macrobulfara. More grass species were eaten in the dry season than in the wet season. Reproduction Mating in hartebeest takes place throughout the year, with one or two peaks that can be influenced by the availability of food. Both males and females reach sexual maturity at one to two years of age. Reproduction varies by the subspecies and local factors. Mating takes place in the territories defended by a single male, mostly in open areas. The males may fight fiercely for dominance following which the dominant male smells the female's genitalia and follows her if she is in estrus. Sometimes a female in estrus holds out her tail slightly to signal her receptivity, and the male tries to block the female's way. She may eventually stand still and allow the male to mount her. Copulation is brief and is often repeated, sometimes twice or more in a minute. Any intruder at this time is chased away. In large herds, females often mate with several males. Gestation is eight to nine months long, after which a single calf weighing about 9 kg 20 lb is born. Births usually peak in the dry season and take place in thickets unlike the wildebeest, which give birth in groups on the plains. Though calves can move about on their own shortly after birth, they usually lie in the open in close proximity of their mothers. The calf is weaned at four months, but young males stay with their mothers for two and a half years, longer than in other alcilophini. Often the mortality rate of male juveniles is high, as they have to face the aggression of territorial adult males and are also deprived of good forage by them. The lifespan is 12 to 15 years. Habitat. Heart of beast inhabit dry savannas, open plains and wooded grasslands, often moving into more arid places after rainfall. They are more tolerant of wooded areas than other alcilophini and are often found on the edge of woodlands. They have been reported from altitudes on Mount Kenya up to 4,000 and 13,000 ft. The red heart of beast is known to move across large areas and females roam home ranges of over 1,000 km to 390 sq mi, with male territories 200 km to 77 sq mi in size. Females in the Nairobi National Park Kenya have individual home ranges stretching over 3, 7, 5, 5 km to 1, 4, 2, 1 sq mi, which are not particularly associated with any one female group. Average female home ranges are large enough to include 20 to 30 male territories. Status and conservation. Each heart beast subspecies is listed under a different conservation status by the Yakin. The species as a whole is classified as least concerned by the Yakin. The heart beast is extinct in Algeria, Egypt, Lesotho, Libya, Morocco, Somalia, and Tunisia. Bugle hartebeest has been declared extinct since 1994. 
German explorer Heinrich Barth, in his works of 1857, cites firearms and European intrusion among the reasons for the decrease in its numbers. It was extinct in Tunisia by the late 19th century. The last individual was shot in Misr, Algeria in 1925. Koch's hartebeest is listed as least concern. This species has been greatly affected by habitat destruction, and about 42,000 Koch's hartebeest occur today in Mara, Serengeti National Park, and Tarangayer National Park in Tanzania, and Savo East National Park in Kenya. The population is decreasing, and 70% of the population lives in protected areas. The Lelwell hartebeest is listed as endangered, and the numbers have declined greatly since the 1980s, when its population was over 285,000. It was formerly distributed mainly in the Central African Republic, Ethiopia, Northern and Northeastern Democratic Republic of Congo, and Southern Sudan. Fewer than 70,000 individuals are left. Most of the population nowadays is found in Chad in the Salamat region, and the Zakuma National Park Chad, the national park population benefiting from improved protection and seeing an increase in population since the 1980s, Manovo Gounda St. Flores National Park and Bemingui Bangorin National Park and Biosphere Reserve in the Central African Republic, where the populations have been falling, Rumaniaka Urugundu Game Reserve and Ibanda Game Reserve in Tanzania, and Murchison. Lichtenstein's hartebeest is listed as least concern and occurs in protected areas such as the Celis Game Reserve and in the wild in southern and western Tanzania and Zambia. The red hartebeest is listed as least concern. It is the most widespread with increasing numbers after its reintroduction into protected and private areas. However, it has been extinct in Lesotho since the 20th century. Its population is estimated to be over 130,000 as of 2008, mostly in southern Africa. In Namibia, the largest population occurs in the Etosha National Park. A reintroduced population is flourishing in the Malalopja Nature Reserve Swaziland outside its range. However, numbers have seen a sharp fall in southwestern Botswana. The Tora hartebeest is listed as critically endangered. The Yukon has ascertained that fewer than 250 mature individuals survive as of 2008. They are possibly extinct in Sudan due to excessive hunting and agricultural expansion. There have been unconfirmed reports of sightings by locals of the Tora hartebeest southeast of the Dinder National Park. Swain's hartebeest is listed as endangered and is close to being critically endangered. The total population in 2008 was less than 600, of which the mature specimens numbered within 250. It is confined to four major protected areas, the Senkel Wildlife Sanctuary, Nechisar National Park, Awash National Park, and Mazi National Park. The heart of beast in Senkel have to compete with the livestock of the Oromo people. A study in the Nechisar National Park during 2009 and 2010 found a considerable increase in the livestock of the Oromos 49, 9% and 56, 5% increase during 2006 and 2010 respectively illegal resource exploitation and habitat loss as major threats to the Swain's hartebeest populations there. The western hartebeest is listed as near threatened. It has been eliminated from most of its range, including the southwestern savannas and Bokal du Bayul National Park in Mali, southwestern Niger, southern Senegal, Gambia, Ivory Coast, Burkina Faso. Small populations survive in Bafing National Park and the area bounded by Bamako, Balgauni, and Sikasso in Mali. Tamu Reserve in Niger, Niakalo Koba National Park in Senegal, Kamo National Park in Ivory Coast, Difula Forest and Nezinga Game Ranch in Burkina Faso, Penjari National Park in Benin, and Baba Njida, Benau, 
and Faro National Parks in Cameroon. Relationship with humans. Heart of beast are popular game and trophy animals as they are prominently visible and hence easy to hunt. Pictorial as well as epigraphic evidence from Egypt suggests that in the Upper Paleolithic Age, Egyptians hunted heart of beast and domesticated them. The heart of beast was a prominent source of meat, but its economic significance was lower than that of gazelles and other desert species. However, from the beginning of the Neolithic Age, hunting became less common, and consequently the remains of the heart of beast from this period in Egypt, where it is now extinct, are rare. In a study on the effect of place and sex on carcass characteristics, the average carcass weight of the male red heart of beast was 79. 3 kg 175 lb and that of females was 56 kg 123 lb. The meat of the animals from Kwekwe region had the highest lipid content 1. 3 g 0. 46 os per 100 g 3. 5 os of meat. Negligible differences were found in the concentrations of individual fatty acids, amino acids, and minerals. The study considered heart of beast meat to be healthy, as the ratio of polyunsaturated to saturated fatty acids was 0. 0.78, slightly more than the recommended 0. 0.7.